Hello, virtual learners. Last time in our story, Mercy Watson goes for a ride. Not only did Mercy Watson ride in the car, but she ended up driving the car. <sighs> when Baby had to help apply the brake very, very quickly, the problem was that Mercy was not wearing a seatbelt. She went flying out of the car. And Mr. Watson was scolding her. If you scold someone, it's when you tell them, no, not a good idea. Don't do it. Mercy was very glad to go home, right? She wanted very much to go home. Let's see what happens when Mercy goes home. Chapter number 13. Eugenia Lincoln and Mrs. Watson stood together on the Watson's front porch. They watched a police car pull into the driveway. Mr. Watson and Mercy and baby Lincoln were all in the back seat. I love these pictures. My goodness, the colors are brilliant, aren't they? Look at also the faces over here. If I zoom in a little bit, let's see what happens. If you can see, look at Mrs. Watson's face. Oh, she just looks worried like, oh, what's going on? Eugenia, as always, just looks so cranky. As I suspected, said Eugenia, trouble, folly, and that... Pig is right in the middle of it. Oh, said Mrs. Watson. My darlings, my dears. She ran out to the police car. I'm so glad that you are home. The toast was starting to get cold. Mr. Watson and baby Lincoln got out of the car. We have had something of an adventure, Mrs. Watson, Mr. Watson said. Yes, said baby. We have had an adventure, sister. Folly, replied Eugenia Lincoln. Yes, agreed Baby Lincoln happily. Folly! Laws have been broken, said Officer Tomalello. Pig! shouted Eugenia. Excuse me, said Officer Tomalello. It's all that pig's fault, said Eugenia. She pointed at Mercy. Do you see it in your brain? Mercy climbed out of the car. She put her nose up in the air. She sniffed. <laughs> Could it be? Yes, it was. Toast! Toast with a great deal of butter on it. What could be better? Chapter 14. Laws have been broken, said Officer Tom Lello. Tickets must be written. Officer, do you like toast? Mrs. Watson asked. Toast? said Officer Tom Lello. Do I like toast? Why, yes, I do. I do like toast. Why don't you come inside and have some? Asked Mrs. Watson. Why don't I come inside and have some toast? Asked Officer Tomalello. Hmm, said Officer Tomalello. I can't think of a reason not to. Lovely, said Mrs. Watson. She clapped her hands together. Right this way. What nonsense, grumbled Eugenia Lincoln. Toast is not the answer. No, sister, said Baby Lincoln. But it does smell heavenly. She took hold of Eugenia's hand. Well, said Eugenia, it has been expertly buttered. Hmm, an expert means someone who knows all about it, who buttered the toast. Eugenia kind of thinks she's an expert on a lot of things. And so that Saturday, Officer Tomalello and Eugenia Lincoln and Baby Lincoln and Mr. and Mrs. Watson and Mercy Watson all sat around the table together and ate hot buttered toast. Did Mercy Watson have extra helpings? She did. And so did Officer Tom Olello. Kate DiCamillo is the renowned author of numerous books, including The Tale of Despero and Flora and Ulysses. Both of those are movies you maybe have watched before. Both of which won the Newbery Medal as well as all six books about Mercy Watson and the spin-off series about her neighbors, Tales from Dekawu Drive. About Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride, she says, A long time ago, my best friend's son, Luke Bailey, put a toy pig in a co toy car and pushed the car around the living room, screaming, Look! Look! A pig taking a ride! Pig taking a ride! This phrase was repeated with such shocking volume and intensity that it took up permanent residence in my brain. What you hold in your hands is the direct product of Luke's obsession and mine, a decade or so after the fact. Look, Luke, pig taking a ride! Kate DiCamillo lives in Minneapolis. Chris 
Van Dusen is the author illustrator of many books, including The Circus Ship, King Hugo's Huge Egg, Hattie and Hudson, and R Randy Riley's Really Big Hit. About Mercy Watson goes for a ride, he says. I have four brothers, no sisters, and cars were a big part of my upbringing. So when I read this story about a wild car ride, I couldn't wait to get started. I made the Watsons convertible a 1959 Cadillac because I love old cars with lots of chrome, fins, and style. It was also great to visit these characters again. We're becoming good friends. Chris Van Dusen lives in Maine. Now, boys and girls, we've now read two Mercy Watson books. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to choose some different chapter books now. But if you loved Mercy Watson as much as I did, you can check out some of her other books. They're so good. My favorite is probably number three, Mercy Watson Fights Crime. You might be able to check that one out from the library. Mercy Watson, Princess in Disguise, is a Halloween story. Mercy Watson Thinks Like a Pig, very, very funny, about someone who tries to catch Mercy. And Mercy Watson, Something Wonky This Way Come, about Mercy going to a drive-in movie theater. I hope that you've enjoyed the reading of both of these Mercy Watson chapter books. I hope that they inspire you to choose a couple of books to read on your own. Whether you get them from the library or somewhere else, chapter books are a great way of growing your brain. Whether you read them on your own or someone reads to you, they always help your brain to grow. Thanks for listening to my story. I'll see you next time.